Hi guys, my name is Gaurav Singh and I'm back at the Idols. So um, this time we wanted to do something very new and challenging for you all. So I came up with the idea of something called as quantum choreography. This it's a term that I've coined myself. Um, and let me explain it to you what this quantum choreography is. All right. So um, I have this habit of whatever I observe in any story or real life, a movie, or in my own house, I try to think. What if this concept was a choreography? How would it translate to a choreography? So there is this famous experiment that I will not get into detail with, but if you want to look it up, it's called the double slit experiment in physics, in which basically uh, they say that one atom or one photon is in two places at the same time. Right now, if you're thinking it's splitting, no, it's not splitting. It's actually at two different places at the same time. So I looked at this thing and I was like, if this was a choreography how would like you know i was just trying to find some kind of connection and what i thought is it's okay so this is one atom but it is in two different locations right at the same time so what i thought of is if i do uh, and I, it, this might sound silly but it's creativity so what i thought is what if i do once one choreography one set of steps very intricate detailed and quarter count steps that exactly fit just the way they are into two different songs. So if you see those set of steps with the music of music A, it's going to feel like this one is this steps is choreographed on this music. If you see those steps on music B, it's going to fit perfectly there as well. And you're going to feel like this set of steps, which is choreography is choreographed on this song, but it's actually the choreography, which is just one. So if you learn this choreography, Automatically, you end up having to learn two performances because now you have two different songs. You can wear a different clothing. You have different execution. You have a different vibe. One is kind of like a casual, you know, like a, a, a social environment performance on the song Ish Kuala Love and it's mellow and you can make a reel if you'd like. The other one is very intricate and kind of competitive. Um, and the name of the song is Ants. So, Plus what I had to do to make it even more challenging for myself as an artist and for you as a student is I did not want to take two set of easy and similar songs and put like four step counts, you know, roll and clap or something like that, like easy steps, four beat steps that stick in both the songs because that's very easy. I mean, you might have done it yourself, maybe, but I took two completely different songs, right? One is Ish Kuala Love, which is Bollywood acoustic, right? And the other one is Ants, which is nowhere related to Bollywood. And Ants itself is like a glitchy and a mechanical, robotic-y, dubstep -y kind of a song. So I wanted to make it a point like anybody who hears these two songs cannot imagine one choreography or one set of steps that will exactly plug into these two songs and they will not be able to tell the difference. Okay, so that is the kind of the challenge that I took on and I think I did a fair enough deal out of it. And I'm really excited as to how this will uh, come about as a viewer and as a student to you. So I've really, really put my heart and my sweat and my soul into this choreography. I've spent a lot of time to even make it possible. It's not easy, guys, trust me. Um, so I'm really looking forward to all the idolites and all the learners online to learn this choreography and uh, this experiment that I've done kind of should reach out to you. It should inspire you in some way, touch you in some way and, uh, you know, basically make you feel uh, some sort of some degree of freshness to thought and creativity. So I'm really looking forward to all of you guys taking on this challenge um, and learning one choreography in two different songs. And I'm looking forward to see your videos, your feedbacks because uh, this choreography is a personal artistic project for me. It does really mean a lot. So if you've followed my work, if you like my choreography, uh, it would mean a lot to me if you learn this choreography and you share your videos with me. Okay, so hoping to see some really amazing videos and see you guys on Instagram.